Okay, great people of In3 Industry, how are you? Everyone ready? We've approached the moment of the fact manufacturing the future. This is our closing event for this, uh, for this whole event. And uh, we have a great group of people from all around the world, uh, specialists who want to share their experiences, their feedback and ideas with all of you. It's a very exciting group of people, so enjoy. And to guide us through all of this, we have the director of Fab City Research Lab and Institute for Advanced Architecture of Catalonia. Please, a warm welcome for Tomás Díaz. Welcome. Thank you, Nicole. Enjoy. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am delighted to be here um, going through a session on the, this afternoon, the whole afternoon. We're going to have 12 talks about the future of manufacturing, which is actually even more than that. It's not only manufacturing. I think it's even the future of production or probably the future of how we're going not only to make things, but actually how we're going to grow things in the future. And, uh, and also, how it's not only going to be the life in this planet, but actually the life beyond this planet. We put the video. So um, we have been working into the digital fabrication field for around 10 years and probably more at the Institute for Advanced Architecture of Catalonia. Um, we understood that the introduction of digital technologies like computation and communications really disrupted the way we are actually living today. We changed the way we relate to each other, the way we work by using computers in our pockets. But we are in the verge of a new digital revolution that you have heard about he, uh, a lot during these three days. But it's not only 3D printing. 3D printing is just the tip of the iceberg of something more fundamental. The fundamental change of introducing digital materials, the fundamental change of using the loss coming from nature into production. And this is a principal motivation for us to think about a better future. We, right now, we have cities that are linear machines. We extract materials from one side of the world. We ship them to factories. Factories ship products into cities. And you just have to consume those products and turn them into trash. And your life is to go after money to buy those things that probably you don't need. But if everyone is able to make almost anything everywhere in real time, it means that we're going to change again how we relate to each other. We imagine a future in which people will be able to share things through the internet. It's actually possible. You can design something in Cape Town and send it in a matter of seconds and get it done by someone else in Lima or in, uh, in Amsterdam. Um, but more importantly, this is not only about the 3D printing that you have at your home, but actually it's about a complementary manufacturing and production ecosystem that is going to transform our cities. So, in order for us to understand the deep implications of this, we brought some of the most amazing and most talented and actually people that is leading not only research but practice in looking into the future of production. Going from biomaterials, nanoscale experiments, design for wearables, cities, architecture, they think about the space, uh, space exploration and beyond. So, Please enjoy the whole afternoon. We're going to have 12 talks. They're going to be TED-style talks. There won't be questions. There will be just presenters coming from different fields of knowledge. These 12 talks are organized in four different sessions. The first one is called Everything Matters. And I'm really happy to introduce the first speaker, who is a, a really good friend, an inventor, a creator, and a leader in the biohacking movement in the entire world. So please welcome Thomas Landrain, president and founder of La Payes and co-founder of Pili. Thank you. Thank you. 